Good morning guys, welcome back to another episode. We're headed into some hiking trail, get some exercise and kill some time because hopefully in a couple days I'm going to be going to pick up my kids or could be tomorrow, I have no idea. I'm just waiting on the words, we can make them plans. But today, I'm just gonna hit the trails, go hiking, and enjoy the day while it's sunny out. We're peaking at like 14, 15 amps on the solar controller, and we're still got a bunch of cloud cover. So hopefully, we'll uh, get some charged batteries today, and uh, yeah, fun stuff. So we woke up at Superstore, it's a little bit late. <laughs> It's like everybody's done their shopping and went home already, but I'm still here waking up. <laughs> oh well, late start, that's fine with me. All right, let's take off. Got a nice pretty view, just hanging out here at Calamar Beach, I think it is. I'm gonna go for a hike a little bit later, but I wanted to fix something that's going on in my van. So while I was driving down the road, my TV slash monitor decided to go for a spin. Luckily nothing was hurt, but when I got my destination the monitor was like this so we're gonna fix that easy thing to do we should just be able to tighten these bolts here that HDMI cord gets jammed up against the plywood but not much I can do about that Karma, got a thing for me. We hold hands, make plans, keep the receipts. Karma, she's my best friend. One step closer, here's how it ends. Karma, got a thing for me. You see, you'll be digging up six feet. Karma, never let me down. My smile will kill when I cut you out. What a freaking beautiful day it is out here. Just kind of just want to sit here for a minute. Yesterday, I did some exercises at the gym, and my arms are just stiff and sore today um, but I know if I don't do anything then it's just going to continue to be stiff and sore every time I go to the gym and work out and do heavy lifting because I do want to bulk up a little bit but that's beside the point. I also forgot to mention the other day on my video that I owe a big portion of what I've built in my van to Chrome from Van City Van Life. I didn't even think about that, but he's a huge influence on actually getting into the van and going out and soaking up this beautiful sun, sunny day. I owe a big thanks to him for pushing me to the point where I have the ability to go out into the van. Now I don't have a thousand bucks to spend on gasoline to go from here to there to there to there but that's okay how do you build a life that doesn't rely on repetitivity repetitive repetitiveness <laughs> repetitiveness and meaning how do you get by without being burnt out in life if you're going to work 30 hours in an office setting it's not healthy for you you're going to take a toll. Your body's going to take, your soul's going to take a toll. Your mental health is going to take a toll on, on your body. It's going to take a lot out of you. 
Now, how do you build a life that doesn't rely on repetitiveness? Especially when you're born with ADHD or ADD or ODD or any of these crazy uh, acronyms that they come out with nowadays that put you in a category to, I don't know, medicate you and promote you or limit you or categorize you into submission pretty much like how do you break free from being in a position where you can't escape from being stuck in a mortgage a loan a car loan for six years a mortgage for 30 years and it takes forever to pay that stuff off like it's not something you can just oh, my house just borrow a loan for ten thousand dollars go buy a house and it's done not like this van where I can go out and buy a $3,000 van, put $10,000 into it, and then I don't have to pay rent anymore. So breaking away from repetitivity, repetitiveness, rep how do you even say that word? Like, I don't even know. Repetitiveness, repetitive, repetitive, repetitive knee. I don't know. <laughs> Screw it. I'm done. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. How to break free from being in a, a cubicle every day, nine to five, 50, day, 50 weeks out of a year and you only get two weeks off, like that's just not right. We're not built for that. We're built to, I don't know. I think we're built to be nomads. We're not built to, to be trapped in a 15 minute city. We're not meant to be put in a box and not be able to go out and enjoy life. And then on top of it being taxed to death to the point where you can't even go out and do anything. And, and like I just saw a post today and you make a hundred dollars and $70 of that goes to the government by the time you're done paying gas and taxes and income taxes and sales taxes and GST and PST. Like, it's just crazy, crazy. So that's my little rant for today. I, mean, I don't know. I know it's me. I just like to get out and go do things. And I'm going to go for a hike. I'm going to go check out this beach that I've never been to and see parts of the Okanagan I've never even thought of going to check out because if I was sitting in Lumbee two hours away that's a two-hour drive not to mention all the Google research to find this place and just looking at maps going Ooh, what's that can I go check that out or what's down that road I'll go check out that road and doing that like over and over and over again I could do that for all my life and still not be able to see all of British Columbia. So that's my goal. So I want to go down all the roads I can find, check out all the waterfalls I can find out and uh, go get some hiking done. And uh, today or yesterday I went and did some workout and did my arms and now my arms so sore I can't even bend it straight right now so I'm gonna take a little break do my legs and I'm gonna go for a big hike This is crazy. Huh. Let me look at that. Eh?
That's pretty cool. Never seen these before. Never even heard of these before. Don't even know what they're called. Just a hole in the cliff, I guess. Cool. This side's not as cool, but there's still a little tiny little crevice or whatever overhanging rock. Okay, so as I was saying about repetitivity, I didn't really want to fit inside the normal social experiment or slave ownership or whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to say this, I chose van life. I decided to go down the YouTube route and do self-employment revolving around YouTube because I've tried some other things and that I could not get those other scenarios to work which you may find out another day. I may, you know, share that information sometime when I'm ready to tell a story, but that's another future episode that you may have to, to stay tuned for. So subscribe for more information about my life and how I live it. I don't want to work a nine to five job, so I want to find a way that I can live my life living like a nomad and exploring British Columbia at the same time without having to go broke while doing it. So that's going to be something I'm going to have to figure out uh, if I can't make enough money from YouTube. But hey, I was just looking at it. We gained like 15 subscribers in the last couple days. So that's awesome. Thanks you guys for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for staying tuned and watching till the end of this video. I kind of I have this like slight dyslexia to the way I talk and I apologize uh, beforehand. I try to clarify and pronunciate everything I say, you know, so that it makes sense. Because if I just rambled off what I hear in my head or think in my head, you guys wouldn't understand it. It would just be garbled, mumble, jumble, crap. And I wouldn't even, I would miss words and then you'd be like, what is he talking about? And be like, oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Because I actually misspeaking words. So if I trip over a word, uh, I'm, I apologize. I'm sorry about that, but there's not much I can do. Except for I'm going to keep pushing myself so that I can overcome it. Just like people stuttering, you can push that stutter to the side and overcome stuttering. Stuttering is temporary. You can get over stuttering. Those are things that I'm working on. I apologize uh, beforehand. So anyways, guys, it's bedtime, so I'm going to hit the hay. I'm going to finish editing this episode and get it out to you guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.